what's happening everybody Rick and Val here with Rival Adventures and uh, we are we just pulled into Lake Isabella uh, Park here in Cincinnati and we're getting ready to test out two awesome uh, additions to our uh, gear or whatever you want to call it but uh, anyway I don't know if you can see him in the back there but uh, we got a couple new boats to test out um, this is the maiden voyage um, we got uh, two liquid logics XP9 and XP10 they're um, a little more geared for whitewater than our wreck boats our former wreck boats are which we, we still have um, but still capable of doing multi-day expeditions camping trips so we're just getting ready to pull into the put-in. We already dropped off our other vehicle. Um, we're going to be taking out at the river's at 5.9 feet right now, uh, which is pretty good and it's sunny. Um, I don't know if you can see that right there. It's 44 degrees right now. There was a. It was 19 degrees when uh, we woke up this morning. And so the water is obviously really cold. Um, we got some splash gear, not full dry suits, but we do have some splash gear that we're going to be uh, putting on. Okay, so check it out. This is Vale's Liquid Logic Remix XP9. Makes some pretty nice boats. That's the uh, lever. It's got a lever for a retractable skeg. Um, storage compartment's pretty good size, as you guys can see. Lots of room um, for gear. <coughs> to say the lid does seem a little flimsier compared to my Inuit. And uh, you also got lots of behind the seat storage. Um, it came with some thigh pads, uh, shims, that you can adjust it right here to make the thighs fit. Um, I like the dual water bottle, dual holders right here. Um, that's pretty cool. And of course you got Liquid Logix has always has super functional um, thigh hooks. And then I have the XB10, which is uh, essentially the... Uh, Same thing, uh, just a foot longer, and made for my size. Oh yeah, you get wet a lot more.
some daylight pretty quick now. It's 7.30. Got about 7.24 to be exact. So the bridge should be up here around the bend. And our takeout is just past the bridge on the right. I get loaded up and ride back up to Lake Isabella, get the truck. Like the Energizer Bunny, baby, you just keep on paddling. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's uh, temperature starting to drop out here. We're almost at the end of our trip, about another half mile to go. I think we went about what about seven, seven, miles. seven miles or so. Um, and uh, yeah, we we're liking these boats. What do you what do you like best about it? Well, it's easy to maneuver, but they're also scary. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, compared to our wreck boats, uh, a lot more maneuverable. The skeg actually works as advertised. Um, you can track really straight um, with it down in flat water. And um, very maneuverable. It's going to take a little getting used to. Completely different than uh, what we're used to before. So, and it uh, is probably about 38 degrees out here. Yeah, the water temperature is even less than that. But uh, we're going to try to get this last half mile done here. Uh, so, Val's starting to get a little cold. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is 35 on the temperature gauge, by the way. All right. There's the bridge. So, we're at the end of today's journey. 